And a man has asked me to come tonight in her place to thank you for this great tribute to David and to send you all her love. And I'm honored to do so. And uh, as I take it home to his girls, I will wrap around it this letter. Dear Dave, the CFDA have the great good sense and elegance to tip their caps at you this year. There's pretty much no year out of the last 40 that this would not have been a good idea. But this time round, it feels like an apt opportunity, given this stage in the proceedings, to remind us all how very much a part of us you always were and always will be. At the request of your beautiful missus, I've come to collect it for her, for you. These kind people, the fanciest fashion people on the planet, are giving you their highest prize, their director's tribute, to honor and to thank you for all the shapes you've thrown from start to finish through all your years, golden and otherwise, all your changes, ever moving forward, all your colors, all your magic, all your vim and vigor, all your glory, always and always. You checked out early and we're still finding things you left in the drawers and looking for a forwarding address. But you're still hanging signs in the sky, in the trees for us, and we're so grateful for everyone. We want to tell you that we miss you, but how very happy we all are that you came by and that we're getting used to resting on your stardust in your absence. Once upon a time, you gave us a freak for freaks. Now and forevermore, in our missing you, and this is a good thing, you have brought out the freak in everyone. You tipped us that wink from the first. One man's freak is another man's free. Difference and change are all we ever have to rely upon and always were. Thank you, Chum, for brightening our horizon, for inspiring and exhilarating and enlightening our times. How lucky we are who turned up since you were first here. Thank you for your happiness and your eternal boneness and zhuzh. You are our hero forever and ever. Everyone says hi. Love, you're Tilly.